Hello everyone, Mary here, and we are going to talk about waves and sound. And in our textbook, this is going to be chapters 16 and 17. Now we're going to begin with simple harmonic motion. Now simple harmonic motion, often abbreviated SHM, is any repetitive motion that can be expressed with wave equations. Concepts like frequency, period, um, amplitude. So a lot of the things that we have discussed when we were talking about rotational motion, um, like frequency, period, and radius or amplitude, will come back when we start talking about simple harmonic motion. So these include pendulums. Now in a pendulum or in a child on a swing, you have a transfer of potential energy down to kinetic energy back to potential energy up here and back and forth. Oh my goodness, my slides are just all over the place, aren't they? Um, we're also going to be talking about vibrational motion, like something on a spring that will oscillate up and down. Um, this can be waves, and that's going to be a big part of what we're talking about in this chapter. We're going to talk about water waves, light waves, sound waves, and light waves lead us into different kinds of light waves like x-rays and cell phones, and spring potential energy. There are so many different kinds of repetitive motion that we can use some of these wave equations to express. So this is a big, broad chapter. Now let's begin with a description of a vibration. A vibration is a repetitive motion or action over time. And these are all going to be caused by an impulse. Now if you remember an impulse is a force that is applied for some unit of time. To start a tuning fork oscillating, it is struck with some sort of force for a small period of time and that makes it oscillate in and out and that in and out vibration of this tuning fork is going to have a force or an impulse on the air around it and that is going to start a sound wave propagating. A speaker cone is going to exert a force for a small period of time on air molecules and cause sound waves to propagate. An earthquake wave is going to exert a force for a small period of time on the earth and you get the idea and those earthquake waves will propagate. So a vibration is that repetitive motion, that, that back and forth oscillation. That's the vibration. Now a vibration is not a wave. The wave is the part of the vibration that travels in space and in time. So it's the vibration of the speaker cone that goes in and out, but that vibration causes the sound waves that move outward. It is the guitar string that oscillates up and down that causes the sound waves to propagate. And it is that force of the wind over the water that makes those ocean waves travel. So waves are caused by, by, by vibrations, but they are not the same things as vibration. Waves and vibrations, two different things. Waves are the things that travel. Vibrations are the things that cause the waves. Now the medium, medium is a word you need to know. Medium is the material the wave is traveling through. Uh, water waves, of course, travel through water. Sound waves travel through air or water or whatever you can hear sound through. And light waves travel through a medium we call space. And so when we use that term in describing waves, we're talking about the material the wave is traveling through. This is a huge idea. Uh, write it down, put a couple stars by it in your notes. And this is the concept that waves transfer energy, not matter. Now, let me give you a couple examples. If you are standing on a seashore, um, many of us have stood on the edge of a lake or the ocean, and your ankles are going to get hit by these waves, and it's going to feel very, very much like the waves are transferring matter. But if you think about it, as you stand there, the water waves come over your ankles and then it rushes back out. And it comes over your ankles and then it rushes back out. If the waves transferred matter, what would eventually happen is that the 
shore would get piled very, very high with water, and the middle of the lake or the ocean would become incredibly empty. But that's not how it works. The waves travel through the water. They do not have a long-term effect on moving the water. It's a temporary effect of moving the water. Here's another perfect example. If you've ever been part of a crowd, like in a football stadium or something, and they do the wave, each individual person or particle, as the wave moves across the crowd, each particle oscillates or vibrates as the wave goes through them. But before the wave happens and after the wave happens, the person starts out and ends looking exactly the same, but they just oscillate and move for a moment or an instant while the wave is passing through them. That's what waves do. They make energy go through a material, but they leave the material the same before and after the wave passes. All right, that's will do for this time. Um, I am going to ask you in this section to look at lots and lots of online videos. So I'm going to send you in between lectures to a whole bunch of little example videos because there are so many good examples out there. So after you watch a couple of those, we'll come back and we'll talk about some more stuff. See you then. Bye-bye.